guys, it's Lara from ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple aftershave. My husband has been using this aftershave for a while and he really loves it so I thought it would be a good time to share it here on the YouTube channel. Now this aftershave is pretty simple, it just takes three ingredients and then I add in some essential oils essential oils that are really good for benefits for the skin and for hair and also ones that can help with razor burn and just ones that are really soothing to the skin. So that's why I chose the oils that I did. I'm using sandalwood, bergamot, and patchouli and I really like this blend together. I love that sandalwood smell and that bergamot. I think it has like a manly scent to it and then I'm adding in patchouli. I also sometimes like to do lavender. I've done cypress before. There's a different blends that you can use or if you prefer you can use no essential oils or you can use just one essential oil completely up to you so to get started we are just going to add one fourth cup of witch hazel into a glass spray bottle and witch hazel is very soothing for the skin when you shave you have very sensitive skin that is exposed and witch hazel is really good with helping to shrink those pores and to help heal any areas that may have been cut open while shaving and then i'm going to add in one teaspoon of aloe vera and this is not actually the gel aloe this is the aloe vera liquid and this one has a lot of great benefits for the skin too, especially helping with that razor burn and any type of sensitive areas. And then we add in one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. And this stuff is a little bit thick, but with all the other liquids in here, it still sprays out of the bottle just fine. My husband's been using the same spray bottle for a while now, and I just refill it every time when it runs out. So it still, you can see, Sprays just fine with that um, wet vegetable glycerin in there. Just give it a good shake before using it. And then I add in about 10 drops of essential oil in this. This is a two ounce glass spray bottle that fits this recipe perfect. If you wanna make more or less, you can adjust your size of your bottle, of course. So I'm gonna do about four drops of the sandalwood essential oil, three drops of bergamot, and two drops of the patchouli. And then like I said, we're just gonna give this a good shake and this stuff is ready to go. So after shaving, this can be used just to spray onto the neck or the face and areas that are prone to razor burn. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out some of the links down in the description below. I have some different eBooks that are free for you guys to enjoy with more DIY recipes like this one. And I also have an essential oil class down there that's completely free to you as well, showing you just the different ways that we use essential oils here in our home. If you guys are new to my channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education. I share natural remedies and I also share a lot of different healthy recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.